Hi guys, welcome to another short video by uh, Antiques Arena. My name is uh, Walter O'Neill and in today's video I'm going to give you a little uh, chat on carnival glass. Now carnival glass is a glass that's been around since the 1880s and in some form or another is still being made today. Um, it comes in over 50 different colours and shades that have been categorised. Um, in order for you to find the actual colour of the piece of carnival glass, you need to uh, turn it over. You look for a piece that doesn't have the um, metal oxides on it, and you find the base, then, and you'll find the actual colour away from the iridescent finish. Um, now, there's loads and loads of makers of carnival glass. You've got um, Northwood, you've got Fenton, Imperial, Duggan, um, Millersburg, and there's a few others. Um, I say they started in the early 1880s. Uh, they were at their height in the um, 1920s, and they've been known as a lot of different names. Um, it's been called Aurora Glass, Rainbow Glass, Poolman's Tiffany. It became Carnival Glass um, purely because it was given away as prizes in the 1950s at carnivals. Now, one way of identifying it obviously is the iridescence, uh, iridescent finish it has, the different colours and shapes. Almost always has a pattern, not set in stone, but almost always has a pattern of some description. Some of the early carnival glass pieces were plain and um, pinched and shapes. So I'm going to um, give you um, a little close up of this little group on the table. Now, one of them is fake. And um, while I'm doing the close up, I'm going to see whether or not you can identify the fake piece. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to show you the fake and give you a little chat on the importance of understanding your subject matter. Now, I've done a video uh, recent on how to value antiques. Basically, valuing antiques is easy. Um, and I've done a, a small video showing anyone how to value anything. What is hard, and what makes you become an antique dealer, isn't the valuing of an antique, it's the identification and authentication of an antique. Um, so that's where your books or your online research comes into play. You have to know if the item is real or fake. As I say, uh, one of these is fake and I'm going to um, give you close-ups now and a little chat and hopefully you'll find the uh, video interesting. And let's see if you can spot the fake before I show you. Okay guys, so I'm going to start here now with um, the first piece of carnival glass. This one here is Brooklyn Bridge. It has a Zeppelin or a hot air balloon um, above the bridge. Um, you can see as I turn it, it has a nice little bit of luster. It's almost a mirrored finish with the luster. I'll show you the reverse. There's no maker's mark on there. I haven't done the research as to the maker on most of these pieces yet. It's a ruffled bowl about nine inches. So there's the uh, first example. Remember now you're looking for the fake. Now here we have an acorn and leaf pattern with um, almost like a basket weave finish. You can see again the uh, iridescent luster that I was talking about. Again about a nine inch uh, bowl. Show you the reverse. We have a peacock ruffled bowl next um, with a grape leaf. I love the darker colours with the carnival glass, it really stands out so much better. This piece here is heart and vine absolutely beautiful luster to it it's the dearest piece I have on the table beautiful finish 
Now, what I was talking to you earlier about identifying the actual colour of the glass, you have to get past all this iridescence finish you see here, and you look at the base and you see this one is a blue, deep blue. You have to go where the metal oxides haven't touched the glass, forming the iridescence, to see the actual base colour of the glass. I'm going to move on now guys to the next piece. Um, this piece is known as Dutch windmill. Now there's a couple of variations on the pattern with one windmill, two windmills and so forth. You can see again it had all the iridescence, not so much on the outside, uh, but it has it on the inside. Here we have a good luck bowl. Um, good luck is a very popular pattern by uh, Carnival Glass, it's done by a few of the companies. Again, has some iridescence. Ruffled bowl about 9 inches again. And you see the reverse. This pattern here, I haven't been able to identify yet. It's obviously um, some form of leaf pattern, but uh, I haven't identified it yet. Again, it has the all the iridescence, ruffled bowl. Most of the pieces I have are in marigold because marigold is one of the most common colours. Not in everything, but majority of it. And we have the final piece here, which again is a great pattern. In a green base with the iridescence. So guys, how many of you have actually spotted the uh, fake piece out of this little group here? Now, as you can see in the group, there's so many different shapes. This is just a couple of pieces of carnival glass. And you can already see the diversity of the patterns, the difference in colours uh, and shades, even the marigolds. Look at the difference in the two colours of the marigold. Um, so, you obviously you've got to look at everything. Prices have halved at least in carnival glass over the last 20 years. Um, used to pull big, big money. You can still get up to a thousand pound for a rare piece, um, but the average price for a piece of carnival glass on this table by year of what I have is between 10 and 50 pounds. Not fortunes by any means. That's how much they've come down. So, I'm going to um, show you now a website, uh, it's not my website, uh, it's a website called Dotty, it's Carnival Glass, um, and it's the website I've used for a number of years now on identification of pieces, um, it has all the valuations going all the way back 10 years or so, as well as the more modern uh, sale prices. So it's not a book, but price. They are prices on the website that have actually been achieved on eBay or an auction house or whatever. So I'm going to show you quickly the website uh, that I use. I don't have a book on carnival glass, shockingly enough. Um, I never felt the need because everything I need is on this website, including the section on the fakes. So I'm going to show you the website now um, and I'll show you the fake piece. Okay guys, um, so here we have the website, it's dotty.com, that's double d-o-t-y dot com. Now, this uh, person has obviously spent a very long time and they are what I would consider an authority in carnival glass. Um, so, you come down, obviously you can alphabetize your patterns, you can search for patterns, let's say uh, northward, so you go to N. Um, yeah, what are we looking at? Nippon. Let's have a look at that one. And it gives you the examples of the patterns and the colours. And you come down and it tells you the prices. 300 in 2014, 225 in 2015, 1300 for two in 2005. Um, that's in amethyst and purple and green. Marigold, 325. So that's quite a rare piece. Um, 
we come across here to one piece I've shown you, which was the windmill. Is it this one? It is a Dutch windmill. It's not the same windmill I've shown you. This is an imperial make, uh, but there's the Dutch windmill. Um, and you can see lavender, £50 in 2000, 2013, £35 for Marigold and so on. So it's a very good site. Um, but on the homepage you scroll down and you see a section at the bottom here that says fakes. Now this is your last chance. Did you genuinely find the fake in those two, four, six, eight bowls? Well, here it comes. So you go to fakes and it's listed all the fakes that they know of. Now here's a fake good luck bowl. And here we have my bowl. And there we have the fake. Now they do genuine good luck bowls in this pattern, but there are differences. Um, so if anybody did identify the good luck bowl as being fake, well done. It comes here now. It's distinguished by the lack of the sawtooth edge. So basically, if you look at this piece here, you see the the rim here. You don't have it on this one. It's missing. Um, the sawtooth edge is found on genuine pieces produced by Northwood. Um, the iridescence is very dull, which it is. It does have iridescence, but it's very dull. And the ribs on the back, these pieces here, are wider. So, again, the good luck ball was the fake. So it's good to um, have the example here to show you. And again, the website's showing you examples of the fakes. I can't emphasize this enough to you. Valuing antiques is easy. Anybody can do it if you've got a computer. The hard thing is identification and authentication. For that, you need your research. Use as many books as you got. Use your online tools and your availability. Use other dealers. Go and ask other dealers for advice. They'll help you. Don't be afraid to list on some of the antiques groups on Facebook. Some of them will be It'll give you right information, others will give you wrong information, but it'll give you an idea. And a lot of the time, what people will say is, well, if you go to this, this, and this, here's an example of yours, and then you can see it's clearly fake. They don't always just say, oh, it's fake, and they'll give you a reason behind it. Um, definitely a subject worth collecting. And now the prices have fallen in Carnival Glass, it, it opens up um, more opportunity for you to buy rarer examples that maybe at one time were out of anybody's price range. And they are beautiful. They, they have that beautiful iridescent finish that um, everybody wants to see. That's why Louis, Louis Comfort Timphony uh, made it so big with his beautiful iridescent glass. Everybody loves the iridescence. So I hope um, this short film on uh, Carnival Glass uh, has helped you. Um, you'll definitely find the website useful over the years, whether you use it just to identify the patterns, the fakes, or price guide. It really is worth saving that to your favourites. Um, I hope you've liked the video. If you did, please put a like and a share. Um, you'll find us on Facebook, Antiques Arena. We have our own website, antiquesarena.co.uk, and we're on eBay where we sell all of this and much, much more Antiques Arena clearance. Thanks for watching guys, till the next time, bye.